Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I am a homeschooling mama of three kiddos. This year I have a 12th grader, a 6th grader, and a 4th grader. And here on this channel I share our homeschool journey mostly, but I also throw in things about motherhood, my faith, and things like that so i would love it if you would stick around and subscribe i do also have an instagram i post to daily um so i will post that handle below today on my channel i'm going to share how i prep for the homeschool week ahead of time um i typically do this on sundays that's kind of our church day family day getting things in order and things like that so I'm going to share kind of a few things that I do. It's not super lengthy because I do prep a ton in the summer. Um, and then I prep like before we start new units and things like that. So it's not a ton of work each week. So um, I use my planner. This is not sponsored. This is um, my Erin Condren planner because I get the life planner. And so... Um, I use it both for homeschool and um, for just like our family and things like that. So basically, I just, um, the Life Planner has like broken down by months, of course. Uh, I have my monthly. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. But um, it is also broken down by weeks. So that's what I do. I basically flip to the week that I'm going to to be prepping for and so this is like a vertical layout um and I, I will try to insert like a video um that I flip through this below um so that way you guys can see but basically I just take a look at what we have going on for the week um and then plug in things that I can like our co-op we do once a week um what else uh, i plug in any appointments that we have if i'm planning a nature day if i'm planning a field trip if i'm planning a get together with our other homeschool friends i just put all of that in as, as well as their extracurricular activities and then um i take a look and see what week we're on i put in um you know we do history on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then we do science on Monday. So I make sure um, that that, so I go through basically, um, because I do prep our science unit ahead of time, so it is really open and go. But there are sometimes supplies I don't um, get ahead of time, especially if they're food items. So what I do is I go downstairs to our morning cart, um, and I, I put, um, did a video on what is in our morning cart, so I will um, link that below. But um, I go down to our morning cart and I just look at our science and see if I need any supplies and I make sure that we have that um, because those that is on Monday. So like if I'm doing my Sunday prep, it's the day before. So, um, and the week before I do try to, because Mondays are my grocery delivery day. So um, I will try the week before to see if there's food items and I'll order that obviously ahead of time. And then for history, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I make sure that we at least have all of our stuff that we'll need for the week. So we do our homeschool morning time group subjects down in our dining room table. And we don't eat at that table, we eat at the table in the kitchen. So I'm able to set that up the night before or the afternoon before, no problem. So I do that as well. Um, and then I go up to our school room because that's where we do individual subjects. And I just go in there. I write the date for Monday. I write the question that they're going to answer in their daily journal. Um, we have a little weekly chart that, um, I just put homeschool stuff on there. So that's usually our co-op. If we're getting together with friends for like poetry tea time, or if we're taking an outing, if we're going to the library, I put that stuff on that calendar. So that way they can just kind of see and get excited for the week ahead. And then I make sure that their desks are all nice and organized. Uh, we try to do that on Thursday afternoon because we school Monday through Thursday. 
So we do try to make sure I always tell them, okay, organize your desk now that you're done with school for the week. So I just make sure that that's all um, prepped and ready to go. So that's pretty much it. It takes me 30 minutes, 30 to 60 minutes usually. Um, so it doesn't take me long. I also, um, in terms of like homemaking and things like that, I make our um, menu for the week. And it's not like, it's not something I, we have to stick to exactly my menu, but I make sure that I have my meals planned out because we eat at home 90% of the time. So I make sure that that's um, planned out and then that my list is put together for um, grocery delivery and then I put that order in. So um, that's just kind of what I do on Sundays and then I finish up the laundry and all that. So that's really, really simple and how we do it. Um, and how I prep for the week ahead. Like I said, the big prep happens like in the summer or before a quarter or a unit starts. So that way a lot of our curriculum really truly can be open and go and I'm not sitting there prepping a ton of work. So I would love to hear um, if you guys do weekly prep, monthly prep for your homeschool and how that all works. Um, I always love to get new ideas and I would love it if you would um, like this video, if you like to see content like this, so that way I know I can keep making it. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.